Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, we're gonna play Grand Theft Auto Ice City 10th Year Anniversary Edition. Yes, and I am 13. 13. someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Shh, motherfucker, boy. How's he got a hold of us at his leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give him a few bucks. Then we go down. Pay him a little bit, right? See how he's done. Uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great. Hey, well, uh, I'm going to drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nice to ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the supply. Okay, that's them in the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight. Let's go. Touch anywhere on the list of the screen to move. Oh. Get out of the way. Vehicle. So, this is it. Follow Pink Blip to find the hotel. So, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto 3. I saw me do the start game. I had another save, but I didn't really follow much. Like, storming hours. Severe weather. Hmm. Cool. 
Old friend. Close, buddy. Tommy! Tommy, send two along. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? How'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee were dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back. And the drugs. And I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because of you, because we got here, I'm going to let you have it. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. <laughs> he just throws it. Oh, I'm going to throw my, like, dollar phone. Seems pretty. No. Sure. I'll get this guy. Marker, mister. I'm gonna run over. Why are you in a bikini? Like, the crap. Why would someone be running around the freaking city wearing a bikini? Like, who would ever do that? I want it. I'm a boy. Please don't do that. Hmm. I might have a few free room to get a little in here. I I do have another save where I'm like like seventy percent done with almost all the missions. Oh, what the crap? Where is it? Oh, it's back right there. It's a pretty nice car. I think that's called the Infernoon. I wonder how you jump this, because when I was in a thing, I had no jump. Eh, that guy's ruined. The party. Go get some sleep, he said. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed. Man. These gorillas, listen to me, are going to come down here and rip my head off. It's ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we going to do? Shut up. Sit down. Relax. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You're going to find out who took our cocaine. And then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established talk. Okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No way, I not told gonna you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. Well, with the way I'm dressed. Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Me too. I like it a lot. I'm gonna go get this car. I think this is the infinite or something. Nope, cheetah. Crap. Crapity crap crap. 
I'm gonna end this video off in a little bit. I'm not recording with the iPod. I'm recording with my webcam. My videos I usually record with the webcam. Now, this might be part one. Because of the cutscenes. Who do I look like? Oops. Why did he say, mmm, nice bike? I mean, where's my hair? I don't know. I'll just do this one. Oh, I think this one's in there. Yo, 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 Bye. Yep, in something. Can't really see. Yeah, I think that's it says Infernals. Some cursive. Can't really read cursive that well. Crap. You messed up my wow. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my partner. Miss Davis! Caramia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my nieces for the reputation? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silico star, Candy Sun. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, PJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> That is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime. And that poolside amphibian is Des Torrance, lead singer with Love Fit. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? Exactly. Let me tell you. It does not involve a bad <laughs> Important. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gift, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director this Steve Scott. The throws of passion with the newborn invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And I, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as if I triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, then not let me go. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friend and liquidating one's enemy. I mean, who's the loud mouth? Ricardo Diaz, who's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go Let's get out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. Pole position, Claude. 